uh, well, we can't all be great chefs, but we can learn from them. And that's why Chef Darren McLean is here this morning. Once a month or so, he's going to bring us tips, tricks, and tried and true chef hacks to help us get restaurant worthy results in the kitchen. And kicking things off this morning with the 101 on deep frying. Tis that's the right. season for deep fried foods. That's right. It's coming up. We, I think anything deep fried is good. I would agree. Yes. I would agree. We in at Chokinen we do a lot of Japanese food, so tempura is something we're going to explore today because it's just delicious vegetables and shrimp. It doesn't matter. You can you can deep fry anything, and it like butter making everything better. Deep frying takes it to a whole other level. It's a thing of beauty, and of course that's your new restaurant, Chokinen. Yes. Chokinen. We're going to talk about that in just a sec because sure. we want to get to frying. So how do you decide whether you're doing a pan or a pot? Well, it depends. Um, so a pan, if you did it in a pan, it would be called a shallow fry, mm -hmm. and generally deep fry just means a copious amount of oil. So shallow fry. You'll have everything in the pan, and it'll just kind of sit on the top of the fan, and you have to turn it, deep fry, you're dropping it. So okay. it's kind of the idea. A um, couple things that you want to do is you want to choose an oil with a high smoke point. Right. So olive oil, not the greatest oil for deep frying. It uh, will develop a sort of met metallic bitter acrid taste because it has a very low smoke point. Okay. So you want to stick to oils like peanut oil, uh, sorry, peanut oil, grapeseed oil, and canola oil. Mm -hmm. Canola oil is a great local choice because there's so much here in Alberta and Saskatchewan and stuff, so it's generally local. Okay. Um, and it has a very high smoke point. Um, couple harder things, to burn. Yes, much harder to burn. I so, assure you I could still burn it. <laughs> you can burn water. I'm really good at that. Um, so three things that you want to think about when deep frying is the temperature of the oil, mm -hmm. the size of the pot, or the size of the fryer that you have. There's mm -hmm. lots of great commercial home fryers. I recommend them more than stovetop just because it holds the temperature. It's a lot safer as well if you want to make french fries for the kids or something like that. Okay. And the third thing is always draining whatever the product is that you're frying. Uh -huh. So basically for us, we're going to do tempura. So tempura batter is really interesting. It's made with, um, this is made with a little rice, bit of egg, soda, it? not rice, no, uh, just flour egg and uh, I use a little bit of soda to get the desired result and then with really hot oil we want it to start frying. Is so, soda necessary? Soda is great for tempura you don't have to um, but it it lightens up the batter and incorporates a lot of CO2 in the batter which gives you some a little bit more light and fluffy. Okay now oil. how do we know when the oil is hot enough? Well, a couple things. One, I would invest in a thermometer. Right. So about 375 degrees, 350 to 375. Different products need different um, temperatures mm -hmm. to fry with. So you can, that's as easy as a Google search. Okay. You want to just deep fry beets for beet chips, really thinly shaped beets. You want to go down around 325. Yeah. If you want to do like French fries, 375 for sure. You want that hotter. Um, another great tip is um, frozen foods fry really well. Oh, really? Yeah, which is um, something a lot of people don't think about it. But um, frozen foods are great because they, they, um, the amount of moisture inside mm -hmm. is, is really good for breaking it down the outside. And so that frozen core means that the inside of your food is not going to overcook while the outside actually gets quite crispy. Okay, great. Yeah. So you're keeping a close eye on that. When do we know when it's done? Uh, when it's when it's done. Generally for tempura, this is a, you know, these have been sliced fairly thin. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe a minute, minute and a half, yeah. but it'll get light, it'll get fluffy. You'll start to see it here. This one's almost close to being done. And then the last thing, and this is one of the most important steps that people forget all the time, is we just want to drain it with some paper towel. What this does is this pulls off the excess. Well, you know sometimes you have something that's deep fried right. and it's sort of greasy and slick and then sometimes you'll have something and it's like just crispy, and, crispy. and delicious and light. That's because it's been drained properly. Now do you keep that oil and use it again? You can, um, but you'll get to a certain point where um, it'll start to, to smell or it won't be good anymore. But you can use it, I usually say rule of thumb three to four times depending on what you've done. For this, this is tempura, it's very clean. I could do this exact with these two over and over again for quite a good period of time. Mm -hmm. But the oil will eventually break down and then the smoke point will come down and it, you know, so it's better just to, I mean, you don't deep fry that often, just yeah. use clean oil. Okay. Really, it's, it's not expensive and it's, and it's, it doesn't, won't overpower, there'll be no, it'll be just a clean, pure flavor. Got it. Okay, now you mentioned this is something you're working on for your new project. Yeah, absolutely. So tempura is a real classic Japanese technique. A lot of people, what's interesting is tempura originated in uh, with the Portuguese coming to Japan, but uh, like everything else, they've taken it and they've made it their own. So here we have our tempura. And then the last, last but not least, season as soon as something comes out. Ah. Because it's still hot, it still has a bit of that moisture, it hasn't been wicked away. And drop it when it's hot. That's right, drop it when it's hot. Delicious. And that's it. 
Uh, we're looking forward to Shokinen opening uh, in the fall, so you'll have September, a, yeah. a busy summer ahead of you getting ready for that. Yeah, a big construction season for us. That looks delicious. We are going to dig into that. Uh, Andy, you have hot dogs all week long, but do you have anything deep fried?